what's good guys so this last week um it's been quite a good week i'm there, there's certain things that uh i want to talk about today but uh mostly about infinite warfare um <clears throat> this weekend black ops 3 double xp during the week we had that double xp and double weapon xp for a group which they just brought in this like big group uh ad like uh, they added some group um mechanism you can make groups and have people join that group um it's really cool i have one basically zombie freak um it, it it's zombie freak weekly but it's not it doesn't say that it, it's uh it's zombie it's zombicide 935 it's only me and kevin in there right now but uh people can join if they feel like it. it's not really a big deal i just made it just to make it um but in this past week um i believe it's been two weeks um Infinite Warfare has been announced. So yeah, cool. Everybody thinks Infinite Warf Warfare is going to be the shit. Not really. Um, <laughs> if you go on to their video on YouTube, it has over a million dislikes. A million dislikes. How the fuck does a game get over a million dislikes? It's actually one of the top disliked games in history. Like, since, you know, the release trailer. Now... I have two things to say about that. I was not excited for Infinite Warfare at first because I figured there wouldn't be zombies. Then I realized they were putting in zombies. So of course I got a little excited, but then I got nervous about it. The second thing I want to say, and this is the reason why I was nervous, is if you keep putting in zombies in every Call of Duty game, zombies will start to get old to other players. Me? No, that's all I play is zombie games. But for, for an average gamer that wants to see something different, and there's not that gap in between, you know, your zombies, you know, because you had Extinction before, it gave you a little gap to, you know, get a break from zombies. It's going to push zombies away from Call of Duty, and it's kind of upsetting me. I feel like Activision saw money in zombies, and they're pursuing it, basically. They're saying, well, if that zombies is selling our games, we're going to put zombies in all of it. Now, I don't think it's the right thing to do is automatically just dislike a game because you don't like what you see in the trailer, or you just see that somebody jumped around a couple times and you feel like they have exosuits and shit. I mean, it's just... I feel like you should get a hands-on first before you just criticize a game. Now, I was watching a video on Infinite Warfare talking about their zombies. They said that they look into Treyarch. You know, they're seeing Treyarch as, you know, a base for them. They love Treyarch zombies. They said they also like Sledge hammers zombies the exo zombies now you will never see me playing exo zombies on this channel i'm going to give you that heads up i play them I, I played it but once black ops came back out i'm not going back to exo zombies exo zombies really wasn't my thing i played it to fulfill my call of duty zombies like until Treyarchs. now next year we'll be getting infinite warfare if they don't cancel it or something I, I don't know like they, they might ch i feel like with a million dislikes i feel like they might change something up you know or get rid of something or fix the game i don't there's so much shit going on with infinite warfare right now it's it's kind of funny and battlefield one released a trailer and that basically blew everybody away it looks to me i, I watched it once the trailer for battlefield one it's going back to world war ii is what it looks like and I think that's a good step. I, I really do feel like Battlefield's doing a good step. Now, I don't see me playing Battlefield because there's no zombies in it. But, I love World War II. If Call of Duty went back to World War II, we'd be on it. I think that would be the best shot. Call of Duty Zombies with World War II game, I'd tear that game up. That would be, I'd tear it a new asshole. But Infinite Warfare, I feel like we shouldn't criticize yet until we see more into it. Infinity Ward, I haven't really liked Infinity Ward before, and way 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 back they said they'll never put zombies in because you know it, it it's not realistic they wanted to keep their shit realistic and now all of a sudden they're they put in extinction extinction 
and then now they're putting in zombies because Extinction didn't do good. It's Activision. I'm telling you, Activision has their hand right in that shit. I'm telling you. Now, I just hope that that they do this right. If you see zombies in exosuits or if they jump around, fuck that game. But they said they look into certain things with Sledgehammer and they really use, you know, Treyarch as a base for zombies. You know, like they, they like them both. As long as they don't fucking jump, I'm happy. They said they're going to be putting Easter eggs in it. There's all kinds of shit that they, they look like they're actually they're doing. And I feel like they're going to try to outdo themselves, you know, with, with zombies. Because they have a lot of competition when it comes to zombies. A lot of competition. So, we'll have to just see what it's going to be until then. So, also, keep an eye out on collector's editions of, you know, Call of Duties, you know. Because this one might have a zombies thing with it. I'm, I'm, I'm a... Because last year... <clears throat> I got my Juggernaug. You might be able to see that maybe the bottom half of it right now. But I got my Juggernaug. That was a zombie-related collector's edition. So I'm going to look into this year's collector's edition, see what it is. You know, maybe it's zombie-related. Maybe maybe it's not, you know. But I hope hopefully it's something that, you know, will be pretty cool. But uh, if you're excited for either Battlefield 1 or, you know, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, leave a like. You know, like, both games have their uniqueness, you know, so I, I'm not going to criticize it yet until I actually play it. So, now, on the other hand, me and Liz went out, like, I think this week or a week and a half ago. We got some small things, minor things here and there, but it wasn't enough to make a pickup video, but I think I have enough now just to show what I got for that week. But I'm not going to do that until a uh, later on video. I'll probably do the video later on today and then upload it today or tomorrow. Um, look out for more gameplay videos. I'm doing a lot more Black Ops 3 zombies. I've been on um, the Giant a lot because uh, the Rise and Drop, you know, you have to get shit set up just like kind of uh, kind of how uh, Shadows of Evil is. And it, Shadows of Evil is just a, such a bitch to get set up and all the time. And the Rise and Drop isn't too bad, but once I get my bow, I usually camp. And I know you guys don't want to see me like really camp like that. So, just look out for some more gameplay. I'm going to be doing a lot more gameplay with Dying Light. Eventually, me and Kevin want to get on the Dying Light and videotape some sh just goofy shit that we do on there. And uh, other games. I'm going to start recording any games that I get, especially when I get them th that, that first time I play it. I'm going to be recording it. So, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you later.